we are going to uh, discuss about the DDA line using the Qt creator. So first of all, what we have to do, we have to just create a project with the name of the DDA line or uh, you can rename by yourself. Whatever you would like to have. So I have just created a project with the DDA line. So, so this is the DDA. In this we have the header file DDA.CPP file main.CPP and DA line.UI. So first of all, what we have to do, we have to just click on the UI form. So you will get this particular environment. So what you have to do for the DDA line uh, line drawing algorithm, you have to take the input from the user as a, for the line segment. That means the uh, starting point and the ending point of the line segment X1, Y1 and X2, Y2. So we have created here the four labels. That means the X1, Y1, X2, Y2. And with respect to the X1, we have we required the text edit box. So what we have to use, we have to use the text edit box. So we are going to use the plain text edit box like this. You can able to drag and drop here. You will get a text edit box in the similar way. I have already drawn the four te text edit box for the respective X1, Y1 and X2, Y2. And I have considered here a push button push button. You can directly find out here on the left hand side uh, here. So we have to take the push button drag and drop. You will get the push button here. How to rename this push button? You have to just click on this or you can rename here the DDA. So in this way you can rename uh, for the push button and uh, for the click event we have to perform the action that you have to do the right click on the DDA button go to the slot. You have to select the go to slot after the uh, selecting the go to slot. You will open a pop up window the uh, through the pop up window. You have to select the clicked button by uh, applying the clicked event. You will be able to perform that DDA has been already performed the click event and whose declaration and definition will be redirected towards our code. So this is the push button to click event which we have performed on the UI form. So no need to uh, define or declare uh, uh, indirect way. You have you don't have to write here uh, manually. It will be redirected directly. OK, so uh, I don't require this push button because I have already have this. So I have to just delete all the uh, data which they have created because I have already created it. So I am just deleting this. So you have to just delete all those which will be reflected and can be referenced for each and every file. OK, so I have already created a DDA line button by clicking on this button only. We can able to draw a line segment uses the, using the DDA line algorithm. So after clicking on this, go to the slot and click will be redirected towards our main CPP file. That is the DDA line CPP file where we are going to code it. OK, so here you can able to identify the avoid DDA line on which a uh, push button click event has been performed. And uh, the same this reference will be there in the header file as well. That is the void on push click button. That is OK. So what we have to do, we have to perform a function for the DDA line. So I have created a function as well void DDA in which I have given X1, Y1, X2, Y2 as a float. OK. So what we have to do, we have to first of all define the uh, definition for the push button click event. What we have to do, we have to take the input from the UI form from where we have to take the input from here, here and here. So we have to take the X1 value X Y1, X2 and Y2. So what we have to do, we have to receive the value from there. So if I am entering a value in the text edit box, it should be in the form of a string then we have to convert it into the integer form. So what we have done here, we have converted uh, plain text to the integer form and we have taken this value from the text added box and which is already created on the UI form. So in this way, in this syntax, we have to write this. So in the similar way, uh, similar way Y1, X2 and Y2 value will be taken. So we have to uh, focus on this. We have to write the text added box name. From where you can able to identify if I am going to write here, for example. 
OK, for example, you can able to see here on the right hand side. If I'm going to click on the X1, this is the text edit. If I'm going to click on the uh, second block, that is a text edit underscore two. If I'm going to click on the third button, that is text edit underscore three. OK, in this way, you can able to identify the name of the block. So here we have written here the same thing. OK, now I have called a DDA function on which I have passed the value of X1, Y1, X2, Y2, which we have taken from the user. This particular syntax is used to uh, draw the line with the color. That means at what position? So this is a pixel which I have plotted here just for the trial. Image dot set pixel 50 comma 50 with a white color. So you can able to find out the pixel is already plotted there. If I'm going to comment it, the pixel will not be seen here. Uh, just for the trial purpose I have done. UI, the label underscore five is used set pix map, Q pix map from the image because we have created a Q map. That means what we have done. This is our complete uh, uh, visual studio screen. This text label we have to consider at the initial basis because I have already discussed in the previous uh, video. This particular uh, text label is used as an output screen on which we can able to find out the console screen. So we have taken here. So on this, what we have to do, we have defined that it is a 500 cross 500 in which we have defined a Q label 5. So you can able identify the label name. This label is label underscore 5. If it is label underscore two or something, label one is Q1, label two is Y1, label three is X2, label four is Y2, and this label for using for the output screen is label underscore five. So you have to name here with the name with the same. That means in the UI form, we have to provide the output screen on the label underscore five on which we are going to set or plot the pixels. OK, this is the complete for the plotting and what we have to do. We have just called the DDA line function. So we have to define the DDA line function algorithm for plotting. So what we have done here, we have given here what we have to do. To have uh, declared the function here, so you have to just click. Uh, sorry, you have to just click here on right click. You have to choose the refactor. And you have to select the definition. OK, just a second. For void, sorry, void DDA. End comma end comma end comma end. OK, and after this, this. So what we have to do, we have to choose here and it will ask you for the definition. So you have to just choose the add definition in DDA line dot CPP. So it will directly redirect to the DDA line dot CPP page. OK, so after clicking here, we will get this. So we have to write the complete algorithm under the DDA function. So I have already created. OK, so I'm just deleting here or I'm just going to comment here just for the trial or the practice. I have shown this. OK. So here I have already created in the same way float X1, float Y1, float X2 and float Y2. So what we have to do here, we have to write the algorithm. So as we have studied the algorithm, so uh, we have to write the same int X and Y, float del X, del Y, length and X increment, Y increment. OK, so here del X is used for del X and del Y is used for the calculation of the slope as well as for the further calculations. So del X is X2 minus X1 and del Y is Y2 minus Y1. If the absolute of del X is greater than absolute of del Y, then the length will be considered the greater value will be considered as a length. So here we have performed the if condition. If the DX is greater, the length will be equivalent to that. If the Y is greater then the length will be equivalent to del Y. OK, so now we have to find out the X incremental, which will be calculated by the del X divided by length or Y increment will be calculated by del Y upon length. So we will get the some final value of X increment and Y increment. OK, so we have to perform here the loop because this increment continuously will be going on till what till the length will not be uh, get. OK, so I equals to 0, X equals to X1, Y equals to Y1. So first of all, we have to plot the X1 and Y1 starting point of the line segment. So we have already assigned the same value in X and Y. 
so uh, we have uh, used here the while loop for the execution of the program i is less than less than of length that means length is if here it is 8 then the loop will be is going to be from 0 to 7 Okay, then I have plotted that image dot set pixel x y. That is the starting point of the pixel x y, and with the color. That means here I have given a white color. If I would like to change here, that means I would like to use some red and green color combination will be get here. Okay, so red intensity I am going to reduce it. It is one fifty. Okay, and next value will be calculated with x equals to x plus of x increment, y equals to y plus of y increment, and i plus plus. the loop will be continuously increasing until and unless will not get the length of the uh, calculated what we have calculated this is the complete program of the dda line drawing algorithm then how we are going to run it we have to just select the dda right click on it and build it so while building we would uh, we are going to see here on the right uh, side corner bottom side this program uh, this project is uh, in the process of completion that is it is building so after completing the successful uh, build of the project we can able to run it okay just a moment it will take a time i hope you have understood about the dda line segment in the similar way you can able to implement the bresenham line algorithm as well so this project is completely uh, successfully built so we are going to run it so how we are going to run it we can run by to by right clicking and run or we can directly use here on the left hand side that is a run option so you can use any of them so i have just run the project after successfully run the program i have to just mention here the coordinates that is it is starting from 100 and it is 200 to 200 suppose okay and after clicking on this button the line should be drawn okay this line is of some sort of red and green color combination it is parrot green color okay this line has been drawn if i would like to change any color suppose i would like to here 300 100 200 or it is okay so this line has been drawn okay you can change here and you can draw uh, uh, is uh, draw the another line as well because it is already drawn so i am using 300 and it is 250 okay this line has been drawn in this way you can able to draw the dda line segment you have to just provide the x1 y1 x2 y2 and by clicking on the dda button you can able to reflect the line on the output screen i hope you have understood thank you